Bang! I'm back once again. Madman State. Gas up and pixie dust and ready to mingle. What are we saying? So, back with another reaction video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know it's about to be lit. Uh, Make sure you follow me on all socials. Wherever it is. And what else? So, today, I thought let me take a shot in the dark. I have no idea what this is. I just saw it on recommendations. And I thought, alright, it seems to be getting a lot of traction. Let me look at it and see what all the hype is about. This is called RM Wildflower in brackets with Eugene official music video. I have no idea what I'm about to be in for. I thought, why not? Let's just do a random one. See if I like it or not. Uh, so yeah, people who know who this is, fill me in in the comments in the meantime, and I can read up on that after this video is posted. Do a little research afterwards. But for now, we're going to react to this video, which I've never seen before. And let's see if I like it, shall we? Yes, sir. Fair use. Bite music. Mmm. Oh. Alright. Where are we? Lightning, Fondo. Lightning and Fondo. Fireworks. 5th of November. What dialect is this? Is this Korean? Let me know in the comments. Some thoughts hitting me, man. First off, is he rapping or is he singing? I'm not sure. <laughs> it sounds like he's doing the half between the two. And then also, this might make sense in terms of that. He sounds a lot like MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, that kind of rock path that he's now embarked on or taken. But maybe the let me know where he's from, but I'm just gonna take a wild guess. He, it sounds and looks Korean, I could be wrong, but like the Korean version or the Asian version, the Far Eastern version. Uh, to be PC because I don't want to get cancelled out here. <laughs> um, so yeah, like it sounds very like whoever this is is taking his inspirations from the US. You can hear it in the beat. The beat has a lot of that trap slash hip hop element, but the composition is very pop rockish kind of style. But it's all right. I'm just trying to figure out who this guy is for me. That's all I'm trying to do at this point. But it's all right so far. It's not it's not my necessarily my cup of tea because I'm quite specific with my stuff. But for what it is, it's all right. So yeah, let's keep rocking with it. Video is quite engaging as well. I'll give him that. I like that scene with the trees. Lyrically, he's kind of like he's, he's slightly trying to rap, but I guess he dibbles and dabbles between the two. But let me know in the comments who is this guy? Is he a rapper or is he a singer or is he a bit of the both combined and messed together? Let me know. I'm curious. 
난 여전히 침묵을 말해 이건 방백과 수가 높다매 모두 오해 병견들이 짜게 반갑다 나 너의 행가래 내 두발이 여기 있다매 이름도 없는 꽃도 함께 다시 별에 가시고 수확해 발 밑으로 와주시고 목적 없는 목적 지도 슬픈 줄도 머리고 그림자와 자신이 아웃돼 아무것도 없었지 And who tell me I gotta be a someone 난 절대 그들처럼 될수 없으니 힘을 시작했지 옆에 건날 지켜온 단 하나의 힘과 전 다른 불꽃에서 들꽃으로 손에 대서 영원으로 광야가 드는 하늘을 다 언젠가 나 되돌아가래 저 하늘을 흩어질래 Come on uh, is it firework or flower work? The subtitle says flower work. Sounds like she's saying flower work. They mean flower work, right? And not firework. I just hope that's what it is. But either way, whatever. <laughs> Okay, um, flower what? Or wildflower? Yeah. Alright, well, what are you saying, State? What are you saying, State? What are you saying, State? Hmm, I'm a little bit perplexed. Not in a negative way. There's a few things I want to say. I guess I don't necessarily relate to the music because it feels and sounds quite emo. Quite far right emo. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but it's just not necessarily for me. But. You can see that they put a lot into it. the video is crazy. The video was really, really decent. The production, they put a lot into the production, it sounded proper like thematic, cinematic, all of that. Uh lyrically, I'm not sure what he's talking about. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, but it sounds again lyrically very emo-ish, but quite ambiguous. I don't I was like more so towards the last third. I was trying to zone in on the lyrics, I was reading the subtitles, and I was like, what's he on about? What? He doesn't quite feel how he should be. He's in a field of flowers. He's trying to. I don't know. If you could help me in the comments, let me know what this song is about because I am a little bit perplexed. However, everything else apart from the lyrical substance was quite high end in terms of production and the video and all of that. So that was cool. But the overall vibe and message and just feeling, I'm a bit confused. I don't know. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just I, I don't know what to take from it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. So what do I give this at five? Okay, if you can help me in the comments and fill me in on what he was talking about or what he meant by the song, what the sentiment is, my rating could change afterwards. But for now, I have to give it a two and a half out of five. Whoosh, and a half out of five. Not saying it was bad, I'm not saying it was not good, but I just need a bit more context to understand what I was just witnessing. But it was all right, it's got a lot of, um, you can see they worked hard on it put a lot of uh, effort into it so I rate that I salute them for that I just don't necessarily I'm just left a bit like I don't know what it was really about but yeah other than that it was alright it wasn't too bad so guys that's been my reaction video make sure you subscribe to the channel as always follow me on all social media platforms and as always I'll see you on the next one Love. Yeah.